Hello, it's Linda here. My Facebook page is Call Me Crafty and I'm going to show you how I made this little box which was made using the envelope punch board here by stamping up. It's a good size box and it holds six Ferrero Rocher chocolates which won't be there for very much long after I finish filming this video tutorial. So I'm just going to get on now and, and show you how I made it. You will need two pieces of cardstock. This is Pink Pirouette by Stamping Up. It's good quality card, so I would recommend that you do use a nice quality card because you just end up with a nicer gift at the end of it. So I'm going to start off by putting the card here into the envelope punch board. You want to start off, we're going to make the the base first and you want to go in here line your card up at two and five eighths of an inch and punch and score and you want to rotate your card and you're going to go into the three and three eighths mark here on the board and punch and score rotate your card back to two and five eighths punch and score it Rotate again, go in at three and three eighths and score. Now what you need to do is line up all of these score lines here with this little nozzle here on the punch board and we'll be punching again. So I'm going to put my card in here, you can see I've lined it up with that score line and you literally just go around the card like so and that's the base done so I'm going to bring in the lid now this will be the lid it's exactly the same size piece of card and we're just going to increase the dimensions where we punch and score by one eighth of an inch so for the lid you want to go in at uh, two and three quarters of an inch this time and punch and score Rotate the card and find your three and a half inch mark on the board here. Punch and score. You go back to the two and three quarter mark. And then once more in three and a half inches, punch and score. And we're just going to do exactly the same as we did with the base. We're going to marry up all of these score lines here with this nozzle and punch and score our way around the board. So, one, two, three, and four. And that's the board done with. So what you want to do then is bring your cards to in both pieces and you're just going to fold and crease each of your score lines don't, you don't need to burnish it here just just gently crease do that on your other piece work your way around the card like so till, till it's all been folded and then grab your scissors and um, I don't know if you can see here I hope you can um, you have two what I call skinny triangles and you have two wide triangles now you want to um, snip the lines here um, at the big triangle end you want to snip into the inner score line horizontally like that oh sorry vertically like that turn your card round and do exactly the same thing okay and what you want to do is 
grab your snail or your sticky strip, whatever it is you use. I use double-sided tape because I just do not get on with um, the snail. Actually, I'm jumping ahead of myself here. You don't do that at all. <laughs> what we're going to do is, now what you want to do is fold in your triangle and then you want to fold up the second score line like this. Fold in the triangle and fold into the second score line. Like that. Just go all the way around. Now, actually, this is where you can just lightly and very lightly burnish those edges. Don't overdo it because you really don't need to. You might ruin your cardstock. I've done that a few times now, and I think you know you do learn. Right, so that's what we've got now. So you see these two little triangles here we're going to bring in the sticky strip now just pop a little bit on the end here oops and cut it and just a little bit here and snip it and then if you can see lay that nice and flat and then bring your card over like so that's caught that nicely that sits nice and flush against the side now and you're just going to do exactly the same with this little piece here Ooh, I've got a piece of cat's fur on my finger at the moment i just had my cat sitting here while i've been prepping i've got fur everywhere uh, right and again lay that flat and then just fold and you will end up with that sitting nice and flush there and then we're going to work on these little corner pieces here now what you want to do is get your sticky strip your snail or whatever i use sticky strip and you want to lay that as close to the edge where the card folds as you possibly can and you're going to go around and do that on all four corners. So I'm just going to quickly go around and oops. So close to the edge as you can, don't go right up to the end. Okay, and now you're just going to peel that off, fold your corner in, and what you want to do is try and get a really nice crisp edge here, so as close to the edge as you can, so you get like a nice 90 degree angle. And you just want to go all around the box now. Oh dear, I don't like to use this very much. There we go. <laughs> Up there, nice, cute angle. That one came a bit easier. And finally, this one. There we go. Up to the edge. And so you're left with this now and then all you do if you've got a snail use it <laughs> just get some sticky strip here on these pieces like so and what I do is I lay the box on its side hold your little side down like that and then so it's butted right up against the edge and you get like a nice a nice crisp edge when you when you get your cardstock stuck to the side and to the bottom there 
so there we go that's your nice sturdy base and all you do is exactly the same thing for the other half um, I'm not going to do that I'm going to put it to one side and I'm just going to um, come in now and show you how I'm going to decorate the lid okay so now what you should have is your base and your lid and I'm just going to show you how to finish off really so what I've got here are three little pieces there's a piece of um, DSP here it's more and more and it's about three and an eighth by four of an eighth that's to decorate the lid got two other pieces this is the lining for the lid and this measures four and three eighths by three and an eighth and we've got this little piece to line the base and that's four and a quarter by three and an eighth okay so I'm just gonna pop that in there cover up all of the the little bits we don't want people to see there we go just finishes that on nicely actually before i stick the lid on <laughs> missed out a step um Gonna go. Gonna put the DSP on first because I'm, what I want to do is actually put some pretty ribbon on. So I'm going to start off first by taking the DSP. This is, I think I said, more and more, really pretty. I wish I'd bought more of it because it went into the clearance rack at um, stamping up, and I don't think you can get it anymore. So anyway, it's really pretty. I like the little hearts. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the lid so what you want to do is just get it nice and centrally there nice and straight like so okay and then I'm gonna bring in some ribbon and I'm just gonna decorate this piece here so get my um, double-sided tape and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some here in the centre on the side. I'm going to do that all of the way around. as you can get it on the sides a little piece here and then we want four little pieces just here in, 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 in towards the centre so just a little bit lined up with the bits that are on the side like so Oh, I could be here all day. <laughs> Hang on. Gotcha. Uh, and this little fella. Yeah. Oh, one more. Okay, so we don't need those. Oh, no. I'm just going to grab my ribbon. Oh, I've just got some cream ribbon here. Um, I'm just going to start off by laying that on that piece of sticky grab my burnisher and just push the ribbon right into the edge there and stick it up the side and come across can you meet the other side just 
get you. Foam folder, I keep calling it a burnisher. I knew it had a proper name really. Right, and just do exactly the same here. So, just go right into the edge there. Take your ribbon up over the side. Oops. Bring it across the top, like so. And snip it. So you're left with that. And bring in your liner. Double sided tape on the inside there. And just cover up all of those bits that we don't want people to see or to know about. So that just finishes off the inside of the box nicely. And then I'm going to bring in the ribbon again. Just cut myself a little bit here. And attempt to do some kind of a bow. I'm not going to do a fiddly one because I'm not very good at them. Right. Just have a little fiddle until you're happy with it. That's quite sweet. Okay. Oops, didn't do that very well. There we go. Could actually do with some sharper scissors as you can see. Anyway, you get the idea. So there's your nice little bow. The box. And just going to do a, a little label to go on there. So I have got the decorative label punch here by stamping up. Nice little piece of pink pirouette card. Regal rose. I love this pink actually, it's a nice soft pink. Um, just to stamp up a message. And I decided that I was going to use the little heart here from the set Banner Blast. And then I've got this set here, which I think is retired now. That's called Just Believe. And I picked out the Just For You sentiment. Okay, so I'm just going to just going to ink up the sentiment now. Pop it on there. it out, grab my heart and just pop it there like so. And just use some dimensionals to stick it on the top. So I've got these ones here. These are clear ones. They're not that brilliant actually. If you can use the stamping up ones, go for it. I've just run out. Um, so. Do that, turn it up the right way, and there you have it a sweet little box which holds six truffles very nicely. And just to prove it, one, two, three, four, five, six gorgeous truffles for Vera Rocher's. I shouldn't be advertising. Anyway, I hope you like that tutorial um, and I'll be back with another very shortly. Thank you for watching.